everybody. Hey, it's Matthew. And Doug. From Crow Bros Bodybuilding. MB3. And today we're on the, our way back from the gym doing, we kind of, we had a couple days off, as you may have noticed with the lack of videos, but we decided to hit our kind of accessory muscles, as I call them at least, like abs and calves, and then we did buys. So anyway, that was a fine workout. It was like an hour and 45 minutes, maybe even more now. And I just wanted to update you guys on the supplements I'm using, like in this off season. I've been trying a few new things that you may have followed, I don't know. And what they are is for like pre-workout, you know, all these little stimulants and things to get yourself pumped up for the gym. And then there's like amino acids for like branch chain amino acids for like during your workout to help you get through your workout, I guess. And then there's creatine and then there's, whoa, look at that thing. It's like an airplane wing. What the? Yeah, it's like a wing of an airplane. <laughs> yeah. And then there's finally like your post-workout like protein powder, which I've always taken. And I guess I'll start with the protein powder. I have taken that basically ever since I started working out. So I don't have like an, a control experiment and I don't want to experiment with not taking it. So as far as how it affects you, I really don't know. I mean, I would say it helps obviously just to get more protein in your diet. So I'm going to stick with that. And then to that creatine, that's the one thing. I guess it's one of the most like tested substances or like supplements and I don't know I can my strength gains have gone up pretty well in this off season I don't want to like attribute that just to like creatine but I have been seeing some differences so I might stick with that also it's just real cheap but now we get to like these amino acids for like intro workout what is that supposed to help my muscle endurance throughout the workout, I'm fine. I don't need that. It's like utterly worthless. Worthless. So I'm done with those for intro work. I'm just going to have water. I mean, the, the aminos, they're so sweet and they get my throat all sticky from the sugar, I guess. Oh, I thought that was Jones Reese. <laughs> oh my God. So it gets my throat all sticky from the sugars and then I want more water. And so why not just have water? That's the best thing. I don't need anything to help me through my workout. And then as far as pre-workout, even that pre-workout, nothing does anything for me at all, except for I had that Mr. Hyde, ah, like earlier. And that was only because I tried it one time. So even that might wear off after a while. So even pre-workouts, I don't even need those anymore. So really, basically what I'm trying to say is, you, you don't need supplements and all these things that they're trying to sell you. I just hate seeing all these people come in with all these supplements and taking them like before workout, during a workout, after workout, at night, before bed, when you wake up in the morning. All these things, you're just wasting your money. Just work hard and eat right. That's basically, I'm not even eating right, gonna be honest. I'm just lifting hard and it's working fine. So that's my rant. Any thoughts, Doug? No, that sounds about right. I'd say a lot of it is just gimmicks, and you really, I mean, a lot of it's in your head as far as supplements go, and yeah, I'd say that's about it. I'm not just saying, work hard. yeah, work hard. a lot if you're trying to gain muscle. Yeah, and I'm not saying the supplements don't work, it's just that if they do work, the effects are not even visible or mental even. I can't even feel the effects, so why would I waste my money and my time doing using these supplements so anyway we're i'm writing hope you guys like the video and speaking of that you can like the video you can throw down in a comment and even subscribe so remember there's always more on the way so stay tuned